The genome is the instruction set for life. It contains all the information needed to make any living organism, and you can think of it like a giant book, like this, which is actually a real printout of all the information in the human genome. It's so big it's split into sections, 23 of them in fact. Each represents a chromosome or an individual packet of genetic information. Each section contains hundreds of millions of letters, and most of them seem to have no function, what some people call junk DNA. But about 3% of these letters form sentences, or genes. These describe proteins, which are the building blocks of the body, and do everything from making muscles twitch to controlling the development of the eye. These sentences are made up of words, which use just four letters, A, C, G, and T. These represent four molecules, which are called bases. And the genome is made of DNA. So if this book, with all its volumes, sentences, letters, and words, represents the genome, then the paper, ink, and glue represent the DNA. But, and here's the clever bit, DNA comes in two halves, with each half carrying exactly the same information, which makes it easy to copy and easy to correct mistakes, which is why DNA is a double helix. But the most amazing thing about the genome is its size. It's both tiny and enormous at the same time. If I arranged all three billion letters in this genome in a straight line, they'd stretch 3,000 kilometers. If I read them out loud, it would take me 100 years. C, G, A. But all of that information is packed into a single cell the size of a pinprick. In fact, it's packed in twice, because there are two genomes in pretty much every one of the 100 trillion cells that make up the human body. And that's a genome.